Hi there everyone. I'm trusting the universe is taking care of everybody perfectly. It's Lady Gola here and uh, you're welcome. If this is your first time of tuning on, stay tuned, right? And for those that have been there with us, thank you. I appreciate it so much. Well, uh, the last video I talked about ways of identifying that someone is using a spell on you or they're using juju or voodoo on you or something negative or you on you and i'm not denying the fact as i said negative things do happen it's 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 not all the times that things happen to us that it is spiritually attached no that's on certain times that things just go wrong things don't just go right the way we plan it to birth when you you know when things start getting constantly you know things are going wacko you you make all your efforts you put all your efforts you put all the energy that you have and things can still go right you know they just leave from up there like from a green valley to a zero nothing you know you 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 get up one fateful day and the beautiful life you had, things that made you happy, things that were giving you joy, seems to just be disappearing one after each. Because when there is a spell on you, you know, and somebody is angry with you or envy at you, I all the time they might not even be angry to give a reason that maybe you did something wrong, that they are justifying their reasons of attacking you spiritually. No. At times you can just be you. They're just you. Just being happy. Just looking beautiful. Just doing your thing. And it pisses somebody off. And they go invoking spells on you to make sure that everything that gives you happiness leaves you. You know, from even watching TV, if that is what pleases you, that is what was giving you happiness, leaves. You know, from just maybe having a cool, nice bad, you don't feel as to it. You don't feel as doing anything. Yeah, because when you are in that state of sorrow, when you are in that state of, of you know, drowning yourself, that is when it gives the spiritual, uh, the negative for all your enemies happiness. They're happy that you are, you are in sorrow. They're happy that you are not happy. It places them, and that was just the reason that you should go down. So, when things start happening from one bad thing to the next, you know, you do prayers and it's like, it gets worse. You know, you make moves and nothing is really going. Then, it is high time you, you seek for a spiritual advice or counselor or somebody that can actually aid you into looking deep into it but then if you're not just to there are things that you can use you know just simple remedies that you can use to help yourself out of those situations right all right the first thing i'll present to us today will be alagata pepe this i believe everyone knows this if you don't you can go to any spiritual it's commonly even sell so in in, in the market those women who sell uh, spices always have it you just crush this mix in your water your bathing water of course with a, a little bit of salt and take a bath with it for three days and before you do that please pray using psalms 51 and psalms 91 for those three days and it will help right then we have a florida water with this it's not commonly sold though but if your chance to have this it, it, it would be nice you just drop it in your bathing water still you know put your intentions in it at the end of the day i always say that your intention count it is what you instill in the spiritual thing you are using whether it's plain water or a blessed water or whatever water you, you are using your intentions at the end of the day count a lot not the intentions of whoever blessed the water or who made the, uh, the the florida water your own intention 
So instill your intentions in it and take a bath with it for the next three days. And as always, start using, uh, start with prayers using still Psalms 91, Psalms 51. And as we were saying, Florida water is always good. And if you don't have that, you get to lay your hands on sea water. You still use it to take a bath with it for three days as well and i will always advise when you are taking a spiritual bath except you you are not you opportune to bathe outside in an open space it's always good to take spiritual baths in an open place so that the the the, the negative energy the evil spirits do have a gateway you know they have a way of leaving you and nature taking care of it it's always not so good when you take spiritual but in your house because things are bound to remain there and maybe you know stuck somewhere and waiting for the next opportunity to get attached to some other person or to something that will eventually get back to you but for those that don't have opportunity to take a bath outside when you are in that process make sure all your doors and, and windows are wide open so that they have a way of getting out and make sure you clean your house all the time clean your house after the, that bath so that nothing remains there nothing no nothing evil nothing or oh, the negative energy doesn't stock inside the house so you have to clean yourself as well as the house and if you are if you are not staying alone take the spiritual bath do the spiritual bath with every other family member because you don't know who has a weak spirit that might just invite the negative spirit to attach maybe your, your daughter your, your your children or your your husband so just take it a routine that every other person in the house go through that all right then there is a the black salt too you can as well include that in your bathing water give your intentions in it and i will always advise that you start with some kind of confession don't always assume that you're perfect you know that you 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 can't hurt a fly we don't know what you do along the line that hurts somebody and you don't feel it or you don't see it that you have actually hurt somebody